text wrap balance is available to improve text layouts. Cookies partitioned by top level side are here. Popovers are easier than ever with the new Popover API. And there's plenty more. I'm Adriana Jara. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 114. Use text wrap balance to improve text layouts. The animation in the screen shows the difference you can make with this one line. As a developer, you don't know the final size, font size, or even language of the text. All these variables are needed for an effective approach to text wrapping. Since the browser does know all the factors, with text wrap balance, you can request the browser to figure out the best balanced line wrapping solution. The reader will be much more pleased with the balanced text block, since it grabs attention better and is overall easier to read. Balancing headlines will and should be the primary use case for text wrap balance. Since there is a performance cost to balancing the text, and to mitigate that cost, it only works for up to four lines. Check out the post in the description for an article with samples and more details to improve your text layouts. Chips, aka cookies having independent partition state, enables opting in to having third-party cookies partitioned by top-level site using the new cookie attribute partition. Before chips, when a user visits site A, an embedded site C could set a cookie on the user's machine. If the user then visits site B, which also embeds site C, site C could access the same cookie that was set on site A. This allows site C to compile a user's browsing activity across site A, B, and every site that it is embedded on. While cross-site tracking is an issue, there are valid cross-site cookie needs which can be achieved in a privacy-preserving way with cookie partitioning. With chips, when a user visits site A and embedded content from site C sets a cookie with the partition attribute, the cookie is saved in a partition jar only for cookies that site C sets when it's embedded on site A. The browser would only send that cookie when the top level site is A. When the user visits a new site, for example, site B, site C would not receive the cookie that was set when C was embedded in site A. Check out the link in the description for all details about this step into deprecating third-party cookies. With the popover API, it is easier to build transient user interface elements that are displayed on top of all other web app UI. These include user interactive elements like action menus, form element suggestion, content pickers, and teaching UI. The new popover attribute enables any element to be displayed in the top layer automatically. This means no more worrying about positioning, stacking elements, focus, or keyboard interactions for developers. This is similar to the dialogue element, but has several important differences, including like dismiss behavior, popover interaction management, event support, and the lack of a modal mode. Check out the article in the description for more examples and API options. And of course, there is plenty more. DevTools lets you pause and debug C and C++ code in WebAssembly apps with Dwarf support. The Exclusion Filters option in navigator.bluetooth.requestDevice allows web developers to exclude some devices from the browser picker. And there is an origin trial for the Background Blur API. All the details, including links, docs, and specs, are in the post linked in the description. Hit the subscribe button now so that you don't miss the latest Chrome DevTools video, GUI challenges, and more, like this video about what's new on the web. Yo soy Adriana Jara, and as soon as Chrome 115 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.